completely empty. Mm -hmm. There's no dogs in here. There's one dog right there. There's one in the big glass oh, okay. case. Let me go see. Is this where uh no, that was the one that looks like brown? Hi, Bobo's. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bobo's. Looks like a little shepherd. Mm -hmm. Yep. Please, God, make yeah. sure. It's a rescue, I think. Or, no, is that a volunteer or a rescue? That one looks like a lady. It's with that's Animal Services. Hi, everybody. Amy and Shelly, we're here at the Miami Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. We're here to pick up and save a little life today. Oh, stop it. Little baby. Oh, that's the one Carol wanted. Think they're fostering? I think they're gonna foster or adopt. So I'm hoping. Hi everybody. Yep, we're here to pick up a little life. We're asking for your support if you can by donating, please. It's eerie. It's eerie. There's no dogs in any of the shelters. It's completely empty. This is one room. Um, I don't know about the others. But I'm gonna see what happens if I walk around what happened. <coughs> Are we allowed back here as a rescue? No English? There's people walking around, so I'm assuming. Hi, boo. Wow. This is Ringo. Hi, Ringo. How old is Ringo? 10 months old, a stray. Loving, playing, energetic. Hi, baby. Well, they've been working on, due to the pandemic, um, getting the dogs out by uh, rescues and foster. Oh, okay. What? Is, coming. is she coming? So. Yep, chair. there comes Gidget. The There's the Gidget. Oh. Hi, Gidget. Another trachea problem, yeah. I hear it. Yeah. Hi, Gidget. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. You guys are doing good emptying out, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, how are you, Max, that you don't, ha you don't need any more assistance with any small dogs? Hey, Gigi. Uh, I'm gonna have to check in the box. Okay, since we're here, I figured. Yeah. I don't know what's here, but. <laughs> Hi, Gidge. <coughs> oh, boy, Trachea. Hi, baby. You got, let's, yeah. Okay. Of course. She's under foster until the 22nd. Okay, yep. Uh, today's the 20, 20th? 20th, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to have her checked out. We, you think it's trachea from your doctors, or are they saying it's kennel cough? They said it's possible. Possible. Okay, cool. Do you want to check in the back and see if you need assistance with any small dogs yeah. while I wait here? Um, mediums or not? I only have room for small. Depends. Tell me what you've got. I would have to check. Out I don't know. I think she's the smallest one we have. Okay. So I'll go ahead and check him out. Look how playful he is. <clears throat> oh, Gidgey, I'm hoping this is kennel cough, mommy. I'm hoping this is kennel cough. Please, dear God. Oh, is he ridiculous? He He's like brawn. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, my You want to play. Stop taking Ringo, guys. We have no room. He's going to get out. Believe me, this baby's going to get out of here. There's no way he's going to stay here. Promise you that. We will keep tabs on him. 
he just came in as a stray. I don't I think this is completely empty. You heard me ask if they needed assistance. This is empty. This is empty. Wow. I'm just going to quickly look over here, Shell Shell. It's just a baby. Yes, he is. Ringo is just a baby. This is all empty, as you can see, completely black. There's no dogs in here. But there's a whole back of a shelter for the big dogs. And I did see a couple. I don't know how many are back here. There's a big Roddy. Two big Roddies. Two big, beautiful Rottweilers. And then there's one here with a cone. There's a, it's always the big ones. And I hear barking, so. Hi there. And I hear barking back here, so I'm assuming there's plenty of dogs in the back. Oh, look at this baby. Oh, he's so Hi, handsome boy. This is so airy. Social distancing, maximum five customers are allowed. We're going to wait and see if they need any more assistance. Um, if we can squeeze in another little one. No, we don't have a big room now, Deborah. We have um, Dalton in the room for now. And we have the puppy in the pen in the lobby, uh, Lazarus. And we have Sam and Susie, Red, Senna, Albert. Rescue House 2 is full. We are making room because we had an adoption today, which I have not even shared with all of you. So we have a room available. So this is how we were able to rescue little Gidget today. What is his status? Let's see what it says here. It says, he came in 10 months old, stray, due out on the 15th. Available on today, the 20th. Available today on the 20th. So I'll keep a watch on him. Um, and we'll see, we'll go from there. If he's not taken, ID number 2133138. If he is not taken, then we will watch him. If nobody steps up, then we will have to kind of juggle and hopefully find, we'll make space because he's a very sweet and highly adoptable dog, as you can see. They're all worth saving, every single one, whether they're old, young, medical issues. But this baby right here is a very highly adoptable, and the, do the shelter being empty. Who is that? This is Gemini. Is Gemini available for adoption? I don't know. Hello? I, oh, I remember Gidget. We're taking Gidget. Hey, hey. Awesome. Can you find out if Gemini is available? Uh, sure. Because we can take Gemini if you need rescue. Get him in, get him out. I saw Gemini. Alyssa is wait. I'm waiting for her to come back. Can you do me a favor? Um, I just saw another little dog go in there. I don't know if she needs rescue, he or she, Gemini. I don't really know. Okay. I was going to talk to her about this cat. My boss, but she just saw when I want to put a box for rescue to her. Is she pregnant? She was pregnant. She had babies. Uh -huh. Now, apparently, she also, someone had come here on the streets after giving birth. So she, she came here loaded. You have the cat now? Uh, yeah, I had it, but I bring her today for adoption or rescue because she's better now because I did... Uh, so she's here now. Her and massage. I have a video of her. Like, and she already she had her here. babies. No, she already had the baby. She's just a regular cat. How with old? Anxiety. Two oh. years. Super friendly? Super, super brilliant, sweet. She's like the best cat. You can carry her and kiss her, and she will like. Okay. Can you um? Can you give her? Does she have an ID number? Oh yeah, she's in the display in the 
Can you give Shelly the ID number? Because I, I have somebody who may be looking to adopt a cat, um, a previous adopter of mine, and she's amazing. So if I can share the cat. Let me give the dog. She's trying to get a cat out. <laughs> What's that? About a cat. Yeah, I'm just recording a cat, but you need help with a cat, right? But why are you recording? I'm a rescue. It doesn't matter. You're not supposed to record me. Well, I'm talk I have my camera. I'm just recording what I'm doing here. Oh, we always do. Let's try to help get the animals out. This is how we're trying to get the cat out. Yeah, 212-959, female, obviously. Yeah. I, I What's her name? Social media. What's your She's name? She's Luna. Luna. 212-959. 212-9591. Luna? Yeah, I'm going to reach out to Carol, and if I can okay. get her out, I'll come back and get her. Okay. She, you just brought her back today? Oh, she's beautiful. Carol, if you're watching this video, let me know if you can help with this kitty cat, and I'll put a hold and get her out of here and get her adopted. Is she spayed yet? Nope. So she needs to be spayed. Okay, no problem. Two years old? Mm -hmm. Do you have any other cats in your house? No, she was the only one. She so, was my foster. But do you know if she's cat friendly? Because I know she has another cat in her house. I don't really know about that. Okay. She seems very sweet. She's sweet with humans, and, but I don't know about cats. Awesome. Thank you. So strange. Oh, it's always something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just waiting. I want to get out of here. There's too many people in here. It's getting too people in here for me. Hi guys, just waiting on Alyssa to come back and let us know if she needs any assistance. Uh, Gemini that was just brought in there, I want to see if Gemini needs rescue. We can find out, and uh, if not, we're out of here. And we'll keep track on um, that little guy over there in the glass box. Yes, this puppy is a Shih Tzu, Nadia. Hello, Miss Nadia. Nadia has our baby. And a Sherry. Yeah, that's already taken. They're already spoken for. Tell her. Uh, there were four neonate puppies that were brought into the shelter with no mommy. Um, I know, no mask. We're wearing ours. But, um, uh, coughing. The puppies I sent in a rescue to inquire, and uh, they're tiny, tiny. They, they got rescue. There's two rescue holes on them, so they're safe. Well, Kathy, this is a 13 week old shepherd mix. I'm asking if they need assistance. Um, they are getting no boxers. They are getting those mixes, no purebreds. I'm just reading the comments. Um, uh, Jenna will foster the cat. Who? So we said Jenna will foster the cat. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna get the cat out. Let's get the cat. Where'd she go? We're gonna save a cat. We love saving animals. Cats are so hard to get out. I gotta place a hold on that ID number now. Did you take that ID number? Hold on, guys. So there you have it. Um, just being here, standing here, talking to people, as you can see saving more lives in need. Uh, just sent in as I was on hold with you guys. Um, just sent in a hold on that cat, Luna. Let's see if she is in need of rescue. Here, kitty kitty. We don't ever get the opportunity to save cats, ever. Because nobody steps up for them. Thank you, Miss Jenna. I sent in a hold for a cat just now, a cat. Uh, apparently, there is there was a volunteer here who was fostering a cat named Luna, who gave birth to kittens. Okay. She brought the cat back today. She said she's super sweet. She needs rescue, and I have a foster for her just by doing this video. So, if you want me to take the cat, I sent in the hold. Okay. This is the only dog I found back there. That was like medium too big. Size. I have no room. Yeah. 40 pounds almost. Yeah, this was the smallest one. Okay. That's okay. But oh, there was um, a volunteer also working here. She was carrying a dog named Gemini, a white dog. Does that dog need rescue? She was putting it back in a cage. I think they have a doctor or rescue. Can you double check before I leave? Sorry, Alyssa. 
trying to help out where we can. Yeah, here we go. So this baby right here that we're pulling, Runner, Gidget. Runner to the information desk, please. Runner to the information desk, please. Uh, might need a check at LVS to see what's going on with the trachea because she's been coughing on and off. So guys, we need your help by donating, please. As you can see, we're doing the best we can. It's such a, a crucial time when these animals need us. Oh, Jerry, to the information desk, please. Jerry, to the information desk, please. Thank you, Miss Jenna, for offering to foster a kitty cat. Miss Luna, who looks beautiful. Yeah, we're waiting on the cat situation. I just no, sent she's in. She's taking the other one. Okay, cool. She needs the 22nd. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for taking Gidget, though. And we're taking a cat, a pair. Oh, is this the foster? I just sent a rescue hold. I'm Which taking cat? her. Which cat? Luna. I guess she was. Oh, okay. We're, we're taking her today. If, see what going, see what being on video did. See what being on video did. It's all good though. You're saving a life, so thank you. Amanda, where are you assigned to? Everybody's so scared nowadays to be on video or social media, but it's all for good here, you know. Yes, she's going to need a harness only. Definitely not a collar, but right now, um, this is what we have. We're not pulling on it. We're just standing with her. Can't even see her. She's so tiny. She's like 10 pounds. She's so cute. Wait till she gets groomed. Wait till we groom that little, oh my God, I can't with that face. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi, Gigi. You're so cute, mamas. So we're breaking this little girl out today. Oh, Yvette Melendez. Always pushing and tagging me on every Shih Tzu or mix of a Shih Tzu on social media. It's her breed. I love all breeds. And as you, you know, we are not breed specific. <clears throat> but this little girl's lucky day today, for sure. She's training Nettie. And we have Nadia Jim. Our previous adopter from Rags to Riches is on here, living the dream. It's exactly where we rescued that little guy from this shelter. He was standing right here. Right? Do you remember that? Nadia, such good stuff. We just had our, it was our one year anniversary actually from the day that we rescued Rags, who's now Rags to Riches. What's his new name? I forget what she, she named him. I'm sorry, Nadia, forgive me. <laughs> He definitely was rags to Riches. Oh my god, he was the perfect dog. He was. He was, is perfect. Me too. So if anybody, um, Gemini has already spoken for, has a rescue, leaving in two days. Uh, that's the deal with Gemini. But we are breaking Gidget, and I just sent in a rescue on a cat. Rags is Jack. That's right, Jack. Jack is swimming, living the dream, kayaking. I love watching. Uh, Nadia, share this video. Maybe you have a friend or maybe you want another dog. <laughs> you can have any dog you want from us. You're so amazing. I love our previous adopters knowing. Look at this. She's making herself very comfortable. Okay, I'll just take the load off it since you girls are going to keep talking. Uh, uh, there's two rescue holds, I guess, on Gemini, but I will double check. We always do ourselves as a backup in case a rescue should fall through or an adopter. Um, oh, Braun is amazing, living the dream. Living the dream. This baby right here reminds me so much of Braun. R Ringo, right? Ringo. We're going to watch Ringo. She likes Ringo. He's fun. The volunteer. He won't be here long. Trust me. <laughs> He's a lover. He looks like a great family dog. Oh. He needs a swimming pool for sure. She's such a good girl, Gidget. Oh. 
if anybody's interested in adopting, reach out to us. Uh, we do have to hold her until the 23rd because she was found as a stray on the street. So there's a holding time, but they want to get the dogs out of the shelter. So they go to a rescue. And then when the holding time is up, then we can officially adopt the dog out. It does look like a black brawn, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Good stuff, good stuff, guys. Well, if anybody, like I said, is interested. Hi, Ringo. He is awesome, huh? Hi there. Who's such a good boy? He oh. seems to be really good with other dogs. Yeah, he's very playful. Careful. He's 10 months old. It says 10 months on his chart. So we'll keep a watch on him. If he's not spoken for, then we'll come back and figure it out. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Super highly adoptable, yeah. young, yeah. playful, dog friendly. I bet he'd love to go swimming. Her tail's, good. Her tail's going. She seems very dog friendly yeah. too, which is such yeah. a nice bonus. Oh, she's so stinking cute. Don't go down those stairs, Nanny. I'm just waiting on the cat, and, and there's always a hold up. We're at the Miami Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter here. Um, <clears throat> just checking out all the peoples. Checking everything out. She's the mayorette. Right? <laughs> She's like, get me out of here. What kind of freedom ride is this? You guys stop at the stairs and stand here for an hour? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. You're going to have to wait on the adoption. Um, <clears throat> we're super excited that one of our babies got adopted and found an amazing new mommy today. But we will update you once we get out of here. With separate, separate, separate video. So the little puppy, what you're asking about Lazarus, he's doing well. We're still waiting on test results from the MRI and the blood work and all that. But he's doing better. With, uh, he's on prednisone. Uh, I'm talking about the little puppy Lazarus, a.k.a. Deuce, that we took in from the owner surrender. So that is the puppy. Hello there, sunshine. Chicago. Waiting on kitty cat. Just bear with me, guys. Thank you, Sharon. Actually, this mask was made from Barbara from Coral Springs. Thank you, Barbara, for my adorable mask. Thank you, Kimberly. Yes, we have been a rescue 501c3 for over eight years. Uh, we have rescued over 4,000 dogs and hundreds of cats. So we, uh, we know what we're doing, but thank you for your input. I understand emotions run high, adrenaline. We are at the Miami-Dade shelter. And yes, Shelly is wearing her adorable, Shelly, look up at me, you cute little face. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom in on Shelly's adorable little mask with her bones and paw prints. That is from Jody. She, um, Shauna's mama was making masks for our organization. And uh, what were they, $10 a piece, right? And all the proceeds were going to 100 plus. Oh, wait. They said when I talk my, um, let's see. When I talk, it looks like the puppy's talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cute. Going to always cover the nose. I know you're not supposed to touch your face, but it tickles, and I just have to move it up. Do I allow people to adopt from other states? Uh, it's really difficult because if you have any dogs in your home, we need to do a meet and greet to make sure everybody's compatible. We need to do a home check. We have people from out of state. It's just a very lengthy process. So 
uh, with the little dogs because they're so highly adoptable uh, and the turnaround is fairly quickly unless they're a, um, a special case. Then of course, even if they're a special case, we're not gonna allow them to go out of state if they've been adopted and returned because we can't set them up for disappointment and then we're not able to get our dog back. <clears throat> and yes, we do have the best supporters. I'm hoping that when I shut down, I'm gonna see that you guys are supporting our mission and donating, even if it's a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whatever it may be, to help us continue our ongoing mission because we are not funded by the state. We're not funded by anybody. We run solely on your love and your support. So any donation amount is so appreciative. So we're so grateful. Um, so again, if anybody, the PayPal link is on this video along with our mailing address. So if anybody, anybody could donate, there's 653 people on here. Even if you all donated a couple of dollars, it will add up and it will allow us to, it will allow us to give these rescues whatever they need medically. Um, just know that this little girl who looks absolutely adorable, she is coughing. They mentioned on her paperwork possible trachea. So we need to take her to be checked out. Um, we're hoping it is, thank you, Barbara, $10, $10 challenge from Barbara. Um, we're hoping it's just a kennel cough and we can help her with just an antibiotic and it's not a trachea where we know from experience, sadly, this is an ongoing issue medically. But she's been quiet so far since you're holding her, so that's a good thing. Um, she's calm, she can breathe, her mouth is closed. So that's a good sign right there. But again, we won't know until we have her checked out. <laughs> she's a sweetheart and we love you guys and we appreciate you as well so thank you thank you still waiting on kitty cat thank you wendy for your do ten dollar donation greatly appreciate it we're just waiting on the cat and then we're going to hit the road I love that she's so calm, Shelly. She's checking everything out. Oh, I can't wait to get her groomed so we can see that adorable little face. $10 from Georgian. Thank you. You're welcome, Stacy. We're waiting on Luna the kitty cat. Get Luna out of here. The cat is going, really? We're waiting on the, uh, the cat's going directly to foster. It's the only way we can do cats is if we have foster because we do not have the room for cats. So again, we were here picking up little Gidget and um, we ran into one of the volunteers who stopped us and said that she was fostering a cat and we asked for the ID number and the situation so we are we placed our hold on the cat and we're going to be breaking the cat out if she needs us we are waiting look at this let me zoom in on this face i can't even they're yelling at you they're yelling at you for touching your mask well you know and it falls off and it tickles and it keeps falling off we have to keep covering we have um sanitizer continuously we're doing the best we can hi little gidge look at that face look at that and guys just so you all know that while shelly and i are here rescuing this little life from the miami day kill shelter uh, as i was driving here I received a phone call from the 24-hour animal hospital. Oh, gorgeous. 24-hour uh, animal hospital. Beautiful husky. Somebody's going home. Somebody's scared to go home. I <laughs> to walk down the stairs. Aww. But as I was saying, um, as I was driving here, I 
received a call from um, the 24-hour animal hospital, Blue Pearl, where little Oreo, who we are helping. So I know I'm talking a bunch of different things, so stay with me, okay? Because there's always a lot going on. Um, last week, I was uh, brought to this situation with an owner of her dog of 10, 11 years old named Oreo. She was limping in pain, crying, and she has no money, no job. So we decided to assist after she was turned away from three uh, veterinarian officers for help. So we, hold on guys. Are they yelling or talking? Oh, they're calling numbers, they're calling numbers. Um, so as I was saying, Oreo that we decided to help because the owner could not pay for her dog, her personal dog's medical. We had everything, you know, the x-rays and everything and came to the conclusion that Oreo needed a FHO surgery, her hip, it's bone on bone. Uh, we had the surgery scheduled for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. with our surgeon, Dr. Babevsky, and uh, I got a call and text message at one o'clock this morning from the owner of Oreo and she said she rushed Oreo to our 24-hour animal hospital because she was vomiting and um, they found out she has a freaking obstruction so she needs to be rushed in yeah, rushed in for surgery for an immediate surgery to save her life from an obstruction okay everything okay Oh, she just took them back. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay. So, yeah. okay. So the dog's safe at Heroes? What? Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you Keith. Okay, hon. We'll be back soon. We're waiting on the kitty. Okay. Yep. Bye. He's probably like, kitty? What do you mean, kitty? Um, so that was Uncle Keith? While we were driving, I had him, sorry, I had him go and pick up Oreo from the 24-hour animal hospital, bring Oreo straight to Dr. Babevsky at Heroes to be rushed in for surgery for the obstruction. While she's under, they will determine, this is a life-saving surgery, uh, don't even have an estimate on the cost, and uh, they'll decide whether they can continue and do the FHO surgery while she's under. I'm sorry, I can't help it. My face is itchy, I know. And it's falling off my nose. So I'm going to wash my hands. Um, I'm not putting my hands near me. Ugh. But anyway, uh, Oreo is going in for surgery as I speak with you for an obstruction. And then they will determine whether they can do the FHO at the same time if she's strong enough. It doesn't end. You want to talk about one emergency after another. No good deed goes unpunished, I say, every day. No good deed. So I'll keep you posted on Oreo. She's in surgery now. They're prepping her. Um, we, recapping, Shelly and I are at the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter, and we just saved this little life. I'm going to flip it again. She's calm. She's resting. She's not coughing. She was just a few minutes ago. Um, so this is Gidget. She's a six-year-old little Shih Tzu that we are pulling from the kill shelter. While we were here, speaking to a volunteer, she was telling us about a, an obstruction. We don't know what she ate, but it's something in her stomach that needs to be operated and removed. <clears throat> and again, while we were here talking to one of the volunteers here at Miami Dade, she was telling us about a cat, a sweet kitty cat that she took in as a foster and um, is now here at the shelter and needs rescue. So by us sharing and doing live video, we had an offer from one of our wonderful, wonderful fosters, Jenna. Um, so Jenna is gonna foster the kitty cat and then we will work on getting the kitty cat Luna adopted. But today, two lives saved here at the shelter. <clears throat> Gidget, I love that name. We've had Gidget before. We've definitely had a Gidget before. I don't know what's taking so long with this kitty cat, but I'm ready to go. I'm ready to hit the road for sure. Are you adopting today? 
Are you adopting one today? Uh, it's a big one, right? He, I don't think he understands, but. <laughs> it's the big one on the right. The one that we saw? He, he's way in the, in the back. He looks like me. He's brindley or shepherd. He was over with him on the right. We didn't get that, that far down there. Did you see the two gorgeous Rottweilers on the left? I know. You know, those are probably some of these dogs that got out. I'm, I don't know. It, I'm hoping. I hope. No, they didn't forget us. It's just this is what happens. This is what we deal with. It's, it's a lot <clears throat> when you come to the shelter. But we're waiting. I hope they have a carrier. Because I don't have. I didn't come prepared. I don't even think I have a crate in my car. Oh, our freedom rides consist of dogs on our laps. Well, not always. Mm, not always. We do have a blanket. We do have a blanket. Oh, boy. We've done that before. I'll have to hold her on my lap and you hold the kitty cat. We've done that before. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. A box carrier. Susan A. Switch. Yeah, that's hopefully. I can't be a kid. No, that just looks like beds, blankets. I don't see an animal in there. So, guys, we're just sitting back. Zoe's on here. Usually they have a box for cat. Thank you, guys. No, those are just blankets. Shelly took a little fall. That's what's wrong with her arms. She took a little fall. She's fine. Yeah. Prinny saw another dog, and Prinny dragged her down. Prinny pulled her down to the ground. Thank God. Thank God. She's okay, and Prinny's okay. Prinny's a strong girl. When she sees something she wants, boy, watch out. But everybody's fine. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Just waiting, just waiting patiently. Thank you so much, Esmeralda, for your $25 donation. Thank you. Thank you. No small dogs, Lori Jacoby, I asked. I said, is there any, are there any small dogs in need of saving? Because we could always set up a little round pen in the lobby um, at a time like this. We just want to help where we can. We have two rescue houses that are full. I'm not getting it on the dog. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> you guys are hard on me, but I know it's all for good because you love us so much, right? Constructive criticism. We'll take it every day, all day. I don't know why it's taking so long, but we're trying to be patient. We're doing the best we can. Listen, not anybody, not everybody could just sit here and uh, keep talking. Wasting time. But the good thing is, we're not seeing a lot of dogs. Yeah, the great thing is, like Shelly said, you know, we're sitting in front of boxes, glass containers. Um, all the kennels here are pretty much empty. There are big dogs. There are big dogs here that need saving. Let's not be mistaken. There are plenty of big, big, big dogs back there. Although there are a lot of empty kennels, there are still big dogs that need saving. So please, if you have any room in your home and your heart for an animal in need, please look at the website at Miami Dade. They have their website, Pet Finder. Um, there are dogs here that need saving. Like this boy Ringo, who is 10 months of age, Swedish sugar, and very playful, energetic pup. He definitely needs saving. He's not in here right now. He's out in playgroup. But we just saw him, and he was going out the door, and super super sweet boy actually it was all tail wag <clears throat> but we've seen uh, quite a few uh, there are some big dogs here that need saving we love you too Georgia love you guys too while Shelly's sitting I'll just kind of stroll around I'm not going to go in 
but um, just for, just to show you, right here there are two Rottweilers, one and two that are here, and I don't know what their status is. Uh, there's also a dog here with a cone on. A beautiful, beautiful boy or girl. I don't even know if it's a boy or girl. Uh, but this dog obviously needs help as well. And uh, there are rooms and rooms and rooms here. It's a very large shelter. So there's dogs here that need saving. It's a brand new shelter. It's very clean. Kitty cat ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. She had everything ready. Awesome. And she's not spayed, correct? No. And she's two years old, she said? So, is that yeah. what it says? Okay. Nope. You have a box? You have a box, but they charge you $4 home front. Uh -huh. In the front, they charge you $4 for the box. I don't care. Okay. Anything else to sign other this one? Okay. Thank you. That's your paperwork. This is mine. I got to get the box for the cat. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Is that your friend? You. Is that your friend, Gidget? I'm so excited to see you. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna leave this with you for a minute. Don't put your hands in your face. There he is. Is he going home? Oh no, that's a different one. Yeah. You need, what do you need from me? They're the ones who are going to charge you. Okay, how much is it? I think four bucks. Okay, I got to go to my car. <coughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I found it. It's being the name. I know. It's being the name. Yeah. Yeah? You're going to come back out. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm going to run to my car now. Okay. So they charge four dollars. Kitty cat. Bear with me, guys. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Gotta get four dollars. Four dollars for a box. Back. Hold on, guys, please. Here you go, so sir. There's a terrier mix and there's a really husky. I'm looking for the terrier mix. Can you give me the one? I'm actually going to get the one. I'm just waiting for the medical so I can cook it and get some results. So results. send it to my contact. Shelly, did you see her take the box? But whatever, they charge four dollars a box to put a cat in. <laughs> I can't even. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, you know what? <laughs> At this time, whatever. It is what it is. I know. <clears throat> Okay, let's do it. Yep. Ready? 
Let's do it. Shelly, what do you need for me to take? You get this, and get this, and get this. We're good. Oh, thanks. Put it in your pocket. You need that. You want me to take paperwork? I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Kitty cat in the box. Doggy behind me. Oh boy, lots of shit. Mama. Kitty cat. Okay. Yeah. Wow. What a fiasco. Wow. You want to share the seat with me? Alrighty. Crank up the AC. Here we go. Okay. Guys, right. we are off. We're going to wash our hands, sanitize. We're going to close the doors. Oh, wait a minute. My slip leaves. Okay. My slip leaves on the ground. Okay, got it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, meow. Sit right one second. Hold on, Bubba. Here we go. Never a dull moment. Get seatbelts. <sighs> Ready to roll. Hold on, guys. Hold on. All right. Got ready, Gidget. Right. Gidget Goose. Here's Gidget Goose. Gidget on the lap. Here we go. Oh, there's Closing up this crap here. Oh, you like the and we're out. Like Got Kitty Cat in a box. I hate it, but you know what? She's safe. We're out. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Get our hands Two here. lives just saved. Never a dull moment. Wait, use your hands too. Yeah, thank you. I gotta go sanitize. We'll see you guys soon. Please donate and thank you.